Spyro, yeah! It has been a very long time since I played this game. I love it. Oh, how I love this game. New game. Yeah, it has been years <clears throat> since I played any of the th uh, first three Spyro games, and I loved them back when I, uh, I, I when I uh, used to play them all the time. And even back then, I played the first one the least, because I, I really don't think it's the best one. Um, still amazing, but 2 and 3 were just so much better. I think it's the characters, because they added in a bunch of quirky characters and stuff, and it was just hilarious. But this one's still, you know, amazing game. So they're talking about a guy. Him. <laughs> <laughs> don't badmouth that thing. You don't badmouth the guy who has such powerful magic that he can turn you all into, like, stone from a remote area. Like, badmouthing him is probably not a good idea. So, the p point of this game is to, you know, unfreeze, uncrystallize all of your dragon friends. And then when they get unfrozen, they never help you. They just disappear. Thank you for releasing me, Spider. Free ten dragons. I can barely hear them. Then find the balloons. I turn the volume up. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find Yeah! What about Nork? Why am I even trying? Alright. This is the game. See how fast it takes for all of it to come back to me. I'm also playing it on the PS3. Um, I'm always, I always play it on the, you know, P PlayStation 1. But the controller is pretty much exactly the same. So. But I'm going to be pretty rusty. As a kid, I always used the uh, directional pad. But now I use the... Uh, I don't know. I don't know which I like better for this game. There we go. Oh. Eh. Oh, I love this game. I already got two. Wow. I I've been playing for like a minute and I've already got two. I gotta be like the best player ever. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um. His name is Sparks. He has to introduce me to my friend. Apparently, I never knew I never noticed the fire firefly before. Or dragonfly. Whatever. Let's go. How do we get on those? Oh, I missed you. Sorry about that. Where'd you go? There you are. Uh. So yeah, plot of this game is the dragons were bad-mouthing a villain that they had, I think, captured previously. And he got pissed off and uh, took vengeance. And don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. I kind of wish this game had subtitles so I wouldn't feel bad about talking through stuff because... Actually, does it? Maybe it does. Nah. No subtitles, so... Get over it. There's not much importance to what they say anyway. And it's not even really that funny, so... We're not really missing out on much. The next two games, when I eventually play those, I'm pretty sure those have subtitles through the whole thing. For everything. Which works out. Yeah! Oh, hey, I already made it to a level. I have to get used to the fact that the camera is controlled with the L and R, not the right stick. It's going to take quite a bit of getting used to. 
I'm gonna be messing up quite a bit. And eh, okay, yeah, triangles to go down. Are these also save points? Hey, they are nice. Game saved. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to these kind of games, so I'm gonna want to get like everything. Uh, I hate that about myself. See, I got it. I now I just saw a chest up there. I gotta go get it. Oh wait, I think I saw something back here. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, I did. Ooh. Oh my God, I'm really OCD when it comes to getting every every jewel. Why can't I get in here? I'm constantly switching between using the control stick and the D-pad because I can't decide which I like better for these, for, or for Spyro games. Because the game was technically made to be played with the directional pad, and then they came out with the analog stick, and they, it could use that as well. <clears throat> I, I've always found the PlayStation analog sticks to be really touchy and weird. I don't. I, am I, I? Maybe I'm the only one who thinks that but they've always just weirded me out. Ever since I was a kid, I, I've never felt comfortable using them. Not to say they're bad, it's just that I, I grew up playing Nintendo, and it's a very different... It's a very different type of control stick. It's weird. I have no idea where I am, or what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna collect the uh, jewels. Big change. Niles, Nils. I rescued Niles. <clears throat> In exploring by gliding to that area with the bull. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. Use the L2 and R2 buttons. Sorry, got to get these jewels first. I mean, saving all of my uh, you know, fellow dragon brethren and elders, probably even some of them are my parents or something, I don't know. Saving them's important, but, I mean, I gotta get jewels. Hey there, hey there. Uh, oh, oh. I gotta roast them. It's also going to take some getting used to because in uh, Spyro 2 and 3 when you press triangle while gliding it gives you a little boost. But in this, it uh, just makes you stop. So I'm going to, I'm probably going to accidentally use it a few times thinking it's going to help and then I'm just going to fall. Like I almost did it a minute ago and then I, yeah see like right there in 2 or 3 I could have still gotten up because I could have gotten a little jump at the end. I got a one up. The worst part about these old older games is like you miss one ruby or one, one sapphire or jewel. I I don't know if they've said what they are yet, but whatever. If you miss one of them in one level, you're never gonna find it. It's gonna be impossible. You're gonna have to scorch, like search everywhere. I don't even know if scorch is a word, but you're gonna have to search everywhere. It's gonna get pretty annoying. Ow. Yeah, hey, man. That wasn't very nice. Um, I hear a bandit guy. They have dragon eggs. I need to get. Which look nothing like the dragon eggs from the third game. Oh, yeah. So, my health, in case you don't know, just for continuity's sake, or not continuity's sake, just for convenience for people watching, my health is the dragonfly's color. So I gotta kill innocent little animals to refill my health, and he'll eat them. They'll turn into butterflies, and he'll eat them. So if you see a harmless little chicken uh, running around, you gotta kill it. Oh, he's telling me about what I just said. He stole a dragon egg! You have to track him down! <laughs> Their voices are hilarious. I'm feeling a little winded. He stole the dragon egg! Whoa, this was the whole level. This is the end. Yeah, another thing. The other games are... And 
like much longer in a way. Maybe this game has more levels, I'm not sure. But in the future games, there's a lot more to do in a level. Maybe they're not physically too much bigger, although sometimes they are much bigger than like this this is a small level even for this game. But even when they're not physically any bigger, they're more compact and there's just more to do and more levels like like upstairs, downstairs, stuff like that. It keeps sounding like I'm like bagging on this game. <laughs> like I hate it or something, but it, it, I don't. It's awesome. I gotta figure out how to get up there on the ledge. I actually have no idea how. Eww. I need to get up there. Oh, maybe. If I'm able to. Yes! Oh, I am a genius. It takes a genius to figure out something like that. I'm gonna keep almost falling off, and it's not gonna be pretty when I eventually do fall off. Ah, damn it. Can I get back up? Ah. Come on, camera. The camera pans very slowly in this. I gotta go all the way back. <laughs> I'm dead. Just kill me. Spyro can't swim in this game. It's a little sad. I used to be very good at this. I find myself saying that quite a bit lately. I'll be playing a game and then I'll say, Oh, I used to be so good at this. But when I say that for every game, it loses a little bit of meaning. That's pretty easy. You're not a very good, uh... You're not a good dragon egg thief. Sorry. Now I can just take my time. Do I check, uh, is there a level progress? Town Square. Three out of four dragons. There's still one more. It's probably up here somewhere. And almost all of the thingies and an egg. Oh, you gotta charge those. Oh, I missed some up there. I'm going back. My obsessive compulsion with getting everything is taking over. That's why I'm still not done playing... Well, I am now, kind of-ish. I just haven't posted it. But I, that's why it took me forever to play Mario Sunshine, because I wanted to get everything. And it's easy to get everything when you're not being recorded. But when you have to do it while talking... Like, that's hours and hours of just getting everything. I need to get over the whole getting everything thing. I don't know, should I free him or not? I might want to keep at least one of these statues for my living room. Ah, what the hell. Thor. Thank you for releasing me. <laughs> Thor. Thank you! <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I wonder, I think it's, sometimes it's randomized, but maybe it's not. I'm actually kind of guessing if it's random, uh, what they say or not. Oh, I got everything in this level. Oh, I can leave. Um, but, um, if it's not random, what their voices are and what they look like, um, when you unlock them, then that's really hilarious that they gave Thor. They named him Thor and they gave him that voice. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> okay. Returning home. In this world, it seems to be very easy to get money. It's just lying around everywhere. Kind of like every video game ever. I don't get that about video games. There should never be any poor people in any video game, because there's always just treasure lying around everywhere. Just take some initiative and you can get it. <laughs> like, Oh, when you've already defeated an enemy in the hub or whatever, uh, they don't give you gems anymore, because that wouldn't make sense. So they give you these little things, and if you get enough of them, you get a 1-up. So You still want to kill enemies, even if you killed them already. Here's my friend. Marco the Balloonist. If you prove your worth by rescuing ten dragons, 
then you may use this balloon to fly to a new world. That's his voice. Apparently. Yeah, sometimes I just gotta stop and slowly pan the camera around. You'll get used to it. I guess I'll go to... Stonehill. <laughs> I'm rich. I'm a 270th than air. This is usually the first level people go to. I probably should have gone here first. But I'm not really playing them in any solid order. Just kind of going with the flow. But yeah, this is pretty much cemented in my memory as the very first thing of Spyro I ever played. Like, before I ever owned the game. I don't remember where. Maybe it was at, like, the YMCA or something. In fact, that was probably it, because they always had video games set up in a friggin' game room. And whenever I went swimming, and then we'd go to the arcade, I'd play just this level. Because that would, like, be all I'd know how to get to. Because it's just right there at the beginning. Because you couldn't save. No, no, no. The people at YMCA have never heard of a memory card. So. You kind of just gotta play the first level every time. It's probably why they got rid of that place. People were getting bored. Now that I think about it, that's how I got introduced to a lot of my, the games I uh, played as a kid. It's really funny if you really think about it. Like Banjo-Kazooie, I played it at uh, YMCA. Bomberman Hero, played it at a YMCA. Spyro, YMCA. Uh, Donkey Kong, <laughs> YMCA. The dragons pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. Well, back in my day, dragons didn't go to. I can't help but imitate these voices every once in a while. <laughs> Deal with it. You'll get used to it once you've watched me for a bit. And if you don't, then, uh, I do apologize. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't want to go that way. And see, if I had never played this game before, I'd, no I'd have no idea this was here. <laughs> and I, I, I kind of, like, was doing that subconsciously. Like, I remember there was something, but I didn't really know what, and then I was subconsciously just jumped over the edge. <laughs> and for a split second, I'm like, wait, why did I do this? <laughs> oh, okay, there's a key down here in, the, in a cave. I remember now. <laughs> it's all coming back to me after I, uh, jumped. Ruby sapphire thingies. I'm gonna have to check the instruction booklet to see what they're called. I still have that. I still have the games for the PlayStation. I just wanted to play them on the PS3 because I could. But um, I should check what the gem gems. I think they're called gems, actually. Now that I've said it, but I could easily be completely wrong in every way. Ow! Hey, dude. I kind of just want to kill you. Is that all right? Thanks. <laughs> Killing all the sheep. There's a bunch of butterflies over here. gotta wait for Sparks to eat the food. And then if Sparks runs out, then, uh, oh yeah, and another kind of cool thing that I never really noticed as a kid, and then, like, eventually I was like, whoa, like, I noticed it, because I always knew Sparks collects the gems for you, so you don't need to walk directly into them. You still need to walk over to them, but not directly into them. It's just kind of a nice little way of them homing in towards you, but for it to still make sense in the game. So if you get hit enough times, Sparks, you know, dies, or leaves, because you can just bring him back. But it, uh, until you bring him back, you have one hit point one hit point left, and he's not there anymore. And uh, gems won't come towards you anymore, and you actually have to walk into them, and that's annoying. Or just, just it's annoying when it happens, but it's easy to get health, so the, overall it's not annoying. It's just... I already know all this. I'm just, I don't care about the tutorial. I already know how to do everything. Yeah, whenever you free it. Oh god, oh god, what, what the hell did I just do? I didn't know that. You can roll? 
I didn't know you could roll. When the hell do you ever need to do this? Is there ever a time when you need to roll? I don't think there is. Maybe they intend it. Can you even do that in the other games? Because I've never done that before. Or maybe I have, but I never actually did it in, like, in, in a mission or something. I've never had to. It's freaking weird. Also, that was not the best spot to teach me the triangle drop, because you don't really need it there. Oh god, no! Well, I guess if I didn't see the cave, I would have seen it here. You know, when I fell. Thank god I'm so pro at this game, or I might have died there. Thank god I'm so pro. If I wasn't so pro, I might have died. But I'm pro. So, I didn't. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this time. I don't wanna. Ah, oh, fine, whatever. Pfft. Fairies and dresses. And in the other games, they give the fairy a voice, and she's an actual character. While in this, she's just there to save your game, and then she never does anything else. They kind of just expanded on the world they had already created. Maybe I should stop talking about the other games and talk about the one I'm playing. That'd be kind of weird. Who's ever heard of that? Eh. I can't believe they never remade this. Like, just high definition, complete, just all the graphics upscaled. I'm surprised they never did that. Or that they haven't yet. Because that seems kind of like something they would do. Sony, I mean. I don't really know much about Insomniac. I know they don't... They stopped Spyro games after the third one, and then they started to suck. Which, you know, made me very sad. I remember playing the one for the GameCube, thinking it was made... Like, it was just... Oh, the fourth game is out! I should play this! Put it in my system? It didn't work. It kept freezing. Horrible, horrible game. I'll probably review that eventually. Hey. Hey. Dude. I need you to stop because you kind of have a dragon egg I need. I don't know if you realize this. But you're kind of getting away. Thank you very much for being stupid. <laughs> Spyro, his head just like bobs around watching it slowly drift down towards him. As if he can't believe that it's flying. I was doing that. Whoa. Cool, man. Spyro sounds like a... I'm not making fun of the game, but I've kind of just realized Spyro sounds, at least in this one, I think he sounds a bit better later, but in this game he sounds like somebody doing a fake Sonic impression. Somebody who's doing a Sonic voice that is more over the top than Sonic really is. Just, you know, for comedic sake. <laughs> That's what Spyro normally sounds like. Except without saying totally and stuff. It's just the voice. I'm never going to be able to look at Spyro the same way again. If that doesn't exist, there should be like... like if, if a, There should be a, like a photoshopped image of a half Spyro, half Sonic somewhere. On like DeviantArt or something. If that doesn't exist, then it should. Someone make it. <laughs> now. By the time you're at this point in the video, it should be made. Thank you. If it's not, then I, uh, I'm really disappointed in you guys. I thought you were better than this. Linda. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. I know I can that save. I've done it seven times. Not you know, it'd be nice in a game, a self, trouble, like. A tutorial that learns itself like if you've already learned how to do something then the game will know that you've already learned it and then it doesn't teach you it there's probably a game that's done that but I've never played it like the game can easily look into itself and see if the player has saved yet and if they have then don't teach me how to save <laughs> it's pretty simple you can just have them saying thank you for freeing me or oh I see you already know how to save 
His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. I already know this. Uh, sure. Sure, dude. You're totally radical, man. No, 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 no. Let me down. Look at Spyro. Such a cute little dragon. It's all up to him to save the day. Yeah, that's what the PlayStation 3 description said. It's like, meet Spyro, the adorable dragon, or something like that. It just made me laugh. Alright. Inventora. This level's done. Wow. I'm kind of blasting through this. See, this game won't take me nearly as long to play as... Ah, I shouldn't say that. As Mario Sunshine, I would say, but... It's been so long, I actually don't know how long this game is. It could be pretty damn long. In fact, now that I think about it, it is a pretty long game. But I am blasting through it pretty fast. I've only been playing for 30 minutes. This is only one or two parts here, so... Hey, guys. Do you mind if I, you know, kill you a little? A little. Just a little. Thank you. I could always use some more one-ups. I'm getting used to the controls already. Doesn't take very long to get accustomed to a controller you're not used to. I really gotta start buying more PlayStation 3 games, but right when I got a PlayStation 3, I was gonna buy, like, Uncharted, and then I realized, oh, shit, Paper Mario comes out next month. Guess I gotta save my money for that. Oh, uh, maybe I can buy a game now. Oh, shit, the Wii U's coming out. The artisan's boss is through a portal behind me. You can challenge him now, if you feel you are ready. I think I'm ready. The Wii U comes out. I gotta get that and a few games for it. And by a few, I mean like one. I don't know how many games I'm getting for that. Um. <laughs> I just find that hilarious. That I've yet to be able to get uh, any of the PlayStation 3 games I wanted. I also want to get Journey, the collector's edition one. That has like three games in one. So that's only like 30 bucks or something. I could have sworn there was a level here, but I probably gotta unlock it, or I'm just, you know, thinking wrong and there is no level there. Oh, PlayStation 1, uh, uh camera controls. How I love thee.